Hey y'all, today is going to be the last of my pineapple series. I'm going to be making pineapple salsa. This one's a little more difficult only in that you have a lot of chopping to do, but otherwise it's not any harder than the other recipes that I have uploaded. This can be as hot or as mild as you want it. If you want it milder, you use less jalapenos. If you want it hot and spicy, then you use more jalapenos. Or you can even use hotter peppers than jalapenos. But jalapenos are about as hot as I want to go. I'm a Texan and part Cajun, but you know, I do have taste buds left. So, so we're going to get started on this pineapple salsa. I hope you guys like the recipe. First thing you want to do is make sure you sterilize your jars and your lids and your rings. I know some people don't believe in that anymore, but I still do. Want everything spotlessly clean and sterilized. These are the basic ingredients. I will put the exact ingredients in the description. So I have a pineapple, a red onion, some green onion, cilantro, some bell peppers, and some jalapeno peppers. For seasonings, I have chili powder, smoked paprika, crushed red pepper, black pepper, garlic powder, you can use minced garlic if you want, cumin, and salt. And I'm also going to be using white vinegar and lime juice. I'm going to start by cutting up all of my vegetables. I will put this in my ninja to get this all chopped up. The rest of it I will just chop finely and I'll show you that when I'm done. So I normally make a much bigger batch of this but for y'all who have probably never tasted it before or don't know if you're going to like this recipe I'm trying to reduce it to a smaller recipe. Um, so this is one pineapple cut up. That's four cups of pineapple. I'm going to cut up two green onions. Here it is with the green onions. Now I'm going to cut up one red onion. That was a really big red onion, so I ended up just putting half of it in here for now. I may change my mind later. I'm going to start with three jalapenos and see about how big they are compared to my hand, and then we'll go from there. I've now added the three jalapenos and now we're going to move on to cutting up bell peppers. I'm going to do five of these. Here it is with all of the, pep the bell peppers, the sweet peppers. It's getting very colorful. And now I'm going to do the cilantro in my ninja. Now, if you don't have a ninja, you can just chop it up finely by hand. The ninja just makes it easier for me. Some people don't like cilantro. It can be kind of strong. So I'm going to start out with just, I guess, a heaping tablespoon and add it. And I will taste it and later may add some more and we'll let you know in the description. Now I'm going to ha add a half a cup of white vinegar. And we're going to start with two tablespoons of lime juice. I might change my mind after I have tasted it. I know this next part is going to irritate y'all. I'm just going to sprinkle salt across it, across it. I'm going to do the same with smoked paprika. I'm going to sprinkle some crushed red pepper on here. It's 
some chili powder. Some cumin. I'm going to sprinkle it with garlic powder. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with pepper. Now I'm going to stir it all up. Now at this point, you can just eat it fresh as fresh pineapple salsa. You don't actually have to can this. It would keep in your refrigerator for a few days. Let me see if I like the taste. It has a good flavor, but I'm gonna add some more salt. This is good on chicken, fish, tacos, uh, just regular chips. It's good on a lot of things. It's a different, it's a different flavor from your normal tomato sauces. Honestly, don't know if you can buy. I honestly don't know if you can buy pineapple salsa at the store. I've always made it from scratch. I make another one with corn, basically the same ingredients but with corn. All right, there we go. So I'm satisfied with the way this tastes. So I'm going to put this in my pan. I'm going to cook it on medium until all of the vegetables cook down. In the meantime, I need to start a second batch. I'll be back. Now, like I told you, I was going to double my recipe so yours won't have as much in your pan as mine. But here it is cooking down. I'm just going to continue to let it cook down. And now that it has all cooked down, we're going to ladle it into some hot jars. have at least a half inch head space.
if you overfill it, fill it, just take some out. Run something along the sides of your jar to get any air bubbles out. Now we need to wipe off the rims with some vinegar. Now put your lids on and finger tighten your rims and then we are going to water bath these for 15 minutes. And once it comes to a rolling boil, you need to let it boil for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your altitude. Turn it off and let it sit here for a few minutes and cool off. Now I'm going to sit these on a towel to cool. There you go. And that's all there is to making pineapple salsa. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.